What's up, y'all? It's the Misters. We in hey the kitchen. <laughs> How's everyone? We doing what we do. The combo. Yeah, no. So, look. Everyone has been requesting and asking, and you know, what's the secrets of my wife's dressing? So, today we decided to expose the secret. So, first and foremost, I have a role in the process, which is the meat that goes into the dressing. Yeah. So, I either use chicken or turkey. It's totally up to you. Whether whether you choose to use chicken or turkey is, you know, your discretion. But at the end of the day, you got to use some form of poultry. Now, I either smoke it on the grill or I go ahead and put it into the oven. I prefer to smoke it. Today, we smoke the turkey. So the size of the bird determines how long you cook it. At the end of the day, you want to make sure that the breast, whether it's chicken or turkey, is 165 degrees. That temperature. So Yeah, temperature, baby. So I make sure that um, I do two things when it comes to seasoning the bird. First and foremost, Obviously, you need to want you want to clean it off cold water, make sure the innards and you know everything is out of it, and then I lather it down with cooking oil. A little nice coat. I use that as a paste to make sure that my rub or whatever seasoning I'm going to put on the skin make sure that it sticks thoroughly. But after I lather it down with oil, I inject this bird and make it so fat. It's probably an extra pound bigger than whatever it is. So you can create your own injection or you can buy some injections from your local you know, market, whether it be Walmart, Jewel, wh wherever you live, whatever's there. Um, you can go into the usually the aisle where you're going to have the salad dressing and things of that nature. You're going to find whatever injections that are uh, offered, whether it be Creole butter or whatever it may be. Um, or you can create your own. It's very simple to do. Go into your, your cabinet, pull out some of your favorite seasonings, dump them into a bowl, and stir them up real good. Throw just a little bit of oil, a little bit of water, stir them up real good, and just use your injector and suck it up and hit the key points and the key parts of the bird. The breast is most important because it's going to be either... Um, the moist, you know, uh, the moisture of the breast is going to determine how good the bird is. Mm -hmm. So you hit it up in the breast, you hit it up in the wings, you hit it up into the legs. Yep. The legs and the wings are the dark meat. Chest is the breast basically is the white meat. So just hit it up in all those areas and just fill this bird up with your injection. Mm -hmm. After that is done, you can create your own rub. Once again, your favorite seasoning is out of your your cabinet or you can buy rubs from your local market whatever you do just hit the skin well coat the skin very well and throw it on your grill and smoke it if you're going to smoke it you want to smoke it at 275 degrees that's usually my target temperature yeah or you can just set your grill i mean your um, your uh oven at yeah. 275 yeah. degrees and just slow cook it until it's done 165 degrees on the breast. Once you get that temperature, you're all good. Pull that bird off the grill, pull it out the it's oven, ready, babe. and then it's good to go. And from that point, I'll let wifey take over and do what she do with that bird. <laughs> what you gonna do with it, baby? Okay, so after the bird is done, mm -hmm. I shred it to, you know, to make sure I can put inside the, the, um, the dress. So you get all the meat out of it. <laughs> Shut up. Let me do this. So I make sure I get all the meat, shred it up really good, and put it inside the cornbread mixture. But you use two cups of the Ancient Mama cornbread, self-rising cornbread. Because everybody be like, okay, you just going to get some cornbread. No, it got to be self-rising buttermilk cornbread. Two cups of those. You prefer Ancient Mama. Yeah. That's what's... That's what it is. It's a good stuff. Okay. And then, make sure you get two eggs. I put two eggs in mine. And then, after that, 
you make sure you put a stick of butter inside there and then you put it in the oven okay so it's in the oven for 425 how for, long in the oven um 25 to 30 minutes 25 to 30 minutes in the oven mm -hmm. okay okay Sounds so cool. you know make sure it's nice and you know yellow you know gotta get that texture baby like a golden brown yeah and so while that's in there but saute your season blend two packs on the stove top okay make sure you have a butter in there don't put no oil in there because that makes it you know it, it the butter is what the key of everything it's butter can't go wrong with butter okay throw a little butter in there <laughs> Okay, then and your after, season blend right back. <laughs> the season blend in the mm, butter. Yeah. Okay, so after that's done, then you take, <laughs> then you take, come over here, and I have a big bowl. It's a big bowl. Okay, so make sure you put the cornbread mixture inside of here, the, the season blend, and then you need to have one egg beat it in here and one stick of butter. I know we have a lot of butter going on, but that's just what make it, okay? The butter is, is what we need, okay? Can't go wrong with butter. Okay, so chicken, your ancient mama self-rising cornbread that you have put inside of that, that, that oven, baby. Okay, put it over here, baby. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then black pepper, okay? Seasoned salt. Poetry seasoning, celery seed, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you gotta get that ground, just a little bit of the ground sage, you know. A little bit and, of that? Yeah, but then I forgot to tell y'all this too. After all this in there, you gotta do the cream of chicken. Cream of chicken? Mm -hmm. Four cans. How many? Four. How many? Four, baby. Four? Mm hmm Okay. And then you need one can of celery soup. Cream of celery? Mm-hmm. They can do cream of celery, right? Yeah, baby. That's what we got to have in there. Cream of celery. Soup. Okay. Yeah. Put that cream of celery on in there. One of those. One. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and then you get mix... all that in the bowl? Yeah. And then what? And then mix it up real good. Stir it all up. And don't make sure it's, it's, it's not soupy. Sure, baby. It can't be soupy now. This how has to post a book here. Back it up, babe. Okay, back it up, little oh, bit. That look good. Oh, see that? Yeah. Thick. Okay. Nice it's nice and thick. Nice and thick. You don't want no soupy, soupy dressing, babe. Can't have no like, like, like water. Yeah. We don't want no water. No. Okay. Okay. Good, Come on. Good, good. Okay. Mm. And then put it in that pan over there. This pan here. Yeah. I'll pour it in there. Put a little oil at the bottom. See, so got the oil at the bottom, babe. We gotta put some oil in there. I already put some in there, baby. Oh, okay. The oil in there already. And then just scoop it on in there, baby. Let me see it, baby. Oh. Mm. Can't see it. Let's put the oil in there. The oil in there already, baby. You gotta pour it in there. Pour it. Oh, we already put that oil in there. Let me pour the ingredients in there. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's okay. it, baby. Okay. And then just smooth, smooth that out, baby. Smooth it out. Mm -hmm. Let me take this for you, babe. Okay, so take it on out now. Mm -hmm. that, that's some good dressing now. See that, babe? Mm -hmm. That's some good dressing now. Smooth it out, then we're oh. going to show it to him. Oh, smooth it out, babe? Mm -hmm. Oh, we already smoothed it out, it's babe. It's like lathering. Mm -hmm. Lathering. Okay. okay, now slow it down. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good, eh, baby? That looks fantastic. Okay, right, good job, babe. Yeah, make sure it's even, though, Mom. Hey. Make it even, baby. Uh, man, yeah. I don't even want to. Oh, you got it even, girl. Baby, that, that, that's dressing good. That thing look good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See that? We already got that, that oven. It's ready. It's ready? What is it? 425. Baby, that's for the bread. Maybe not. 425. <laughs> what you put it on when you put it in there? Oh. 350. 350. 350. It's going in. After you smooth it out. I'm finna show you, you what that looks like. Yeah, smooth it out. Mm, that's good. Mm. That's good, babe. That's ready. Let me get a little tape, babe. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. That's good, babe. Fire. Okay, calm down now. So let's go ahead and show them what that look like. Like what it look like, babe. When it's smoothed out. Uh oh. Oh, be careful now. You know, what's, <laughs> oh, babe, what's going on? <laughs> you can see it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't want to tilt it too much because we don't want it to run. Mm -hmm. but that's how it look when it's ready and smoothed out. So I told y'all how to make that dressing. So that's smoothed out and it's ready to go in. Then obviously we put it in. Mm -hmm. 30 minutes. How long? 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yeah. Let me put it in there, baby. Put it in there, baby. Back up a little bit, baby. Oh, back up. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. That's ready, baby. Ready to go? Mm-hmm. And what what temperature? 325, 350. 325, 350, somewhere up and in there. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. That works you it all You gotta watch out. it. You gotta watch it. That's all. And then that's it. Primo, baby. Okay. When it come out, you had the best dressing you ever had in your life. You did a good job, honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's the misters. We in the we in kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out. See you on the next video.